Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Tuesday, November 14th, 2023, and we are back with our college basketball best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these college basketball news every single day, along with college football, NFL, NBA, NHL. Uh, we're also going to have a big one a year in the MLB. We're going after our first 15,000 subscribers, our first nine months on YouTube. Really excited to have y'all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's results, uh, we had a bad day. We went 0-2. We had Villanova minus 11.5. That was a loss. And we had St. John's minus 2.5. That was also a loss. 8-10 and 10 so far on the season. Now here's the thing. College basketball is a weekend. We've also had nothing but cupcake games, 35-point spreads. Just, you know, it's, it's the early college basketball season. And we win 60% of the time. That means 40% of the time we lose. I'm not really sure when those 40% come. They're coming a little earlier than usual. So we're going to bounce back here, especially since we have, like, legit, like, matchups today, which I'm very, very excited about for college basketball. Now, I have three picks that I'm going to give you guys here on YouTube in college basketball. I have two members only plays in college basketball, one in NBA, one in the NHL, one in college football as well. So five members only picks in total. You can use it at zdmbets.com slash picks. As a member, you get all of our members only plays every single day, which was profitable, best bet plays on a day-to-day -day basis. On top of that, you have direct line to me. So any game you're considering betting, reach out to our hotline number, get guarantee your spots back, but any game you're considering betting. And on top of that, you also get all of our free picks due on YouTube sent to you before these videos come out. That would take advantage of early lines or early odds. And the website zdmbets.com slash picks, zdmbets.com slash picks, zdmbets.com slash picks. So let's get into the plays that we have today, everyone. I'm going to start with our first play of the day. Uh, that's the, our, our first free play of the day, which going to be the Wisconsin money line. Minus 125 versus Providence in Providence. Now, here's the deal. This line has moved a ton in Wisconsin's direction. started out at Wisconsin plus one and a half. It's at either, depending on your book, it's anywhere between Wisconsin minus one and a half and Wisconsin minus two. Um, the fact that it's moving that far in that direction is a pretty significant change because Wisconsin has a ton of experience. They they've keep, they've keep their guys together. They don't really use the transport all that much. There's a lot of recruit, recruit, recruit. And they and they, they brought back a good amount of their starters from last year. Providence has lost Ed Cooley, their, their, their coach. And he's a fantastic, fantastic coach. And they're, and, and he's and he's not there anymore. Um, on top of that, this is a bounce back opportunity for, for uh, Wisconsin after the Tennessee loss. We had Tennessee in that game, by the way. Um, and Providence is 57th in the Ken Palm range, while Wisconsin is 25th. That's a significant difference, especially since Ken Palm is pretty damn accurate. You had UConn number one basically the whole year last year. I'm going to roll here with Wisconsin here, money line. I'm not going to take the point. I'm not going to lay the points. I'm just going to take the money line since it's only minus 125. Next, we're going to be over 159 in Creighton and Iowa. Both teams score a shit ton. These teams are up and down teams. Trey Alexander on um, on Creighton is unbelievable. Colt Brenner's great. Bailey, Baylor Shireman, I didn't think he'd be back, but he's back. He's a fantastic three-point shooter. Plus, Creighton's going to be at home, and Iowa doesn't play any defense. When you add those two things together, that's a big deal. Now, you could take Creighton minus 12 and a half. I just think that's so many points, especially with how good Iowa is on the offensive end. And Iowa does score a lot. I think they can be able to puncture a, a, a good defensive team of Creighton. So I think the over 159 and a half here, both, this is basically saying both teams are going to score 80, or it's going to be like 90 to 70 or something like that, 95, you know, 70, you know, 85, 65, something like that. I don't know. But I don't really like the side all that much since the spread is so big, but I do like the total here, like the over 159 and a half. And then next and lastly, we have Michigan State plus four and a half versus Duke. Um, we had Arizona plus five and a half. So remember, only best bet for college basketball last week against, against Duke. They won pretty handily at, in, in, in Duke, by the way. Now we're going to play in Chicago. Now, Chicago, as you all know, is much closer to Mich East Lansing, Michigan, than it is to uh, Duke. So first off, geographically, this is a huge advantage for Michigan, Michigan State. On top of that, we have the better coach in Tom Izzo. Tom Izzo is a much better coach than John Shire. This isn't a question. This is not Coach K versus Tom Izzo. This is Tom Izzo versus John Shireman, who's been there for a year. And when we look at this, also Michigan State brings back basically its entire team other than Hauser, which is a big deal. Tyson Walker is absolutely unbelievable. And you and by the way, people are, you know, people might are a little down on Michigan State because they lost to James Madison. First off, just side note, James Madison's hot right now, whether it's in football or in basketball. They, both these teams are very, 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 very good. Um, but if but the thing about it is this is college basketball. This is not college football. This is not this is, this is not this is college basketball, not college football. 
College basketball teams go, don't, do not go undefeated. They're going to have bad losses here and there. That's just what's going to happen. And the fact is, is that they're fucking pissed that they lost to James Madison. They're going to come out and they're going to beat Duke outright. You don't even need the points, but I'm going to take the points here because they're going to give them to me. So I'm going to go Michigan State here, plus four and a half versus Duke. If you're taking the, if, if your book says plus four, just buy the half point. That way, if it's four, you you, you actually win. If you're if it's plus three and a half, I would just take that too. I like. I really like them to win this game outright, especially since they're like in Chicago. It's closer to home. They're coming off a bad loss and Duke got beat down by a better team. That's what happened. They did not lose on a fluky game. So I'm going to roll Michigan State here plus three, plus four and a half. I play down to three and a half. Now, like I said, we have two members only plays in the college basketball today. You can go to the zdmbets.com slash picks along with our other members only picks. Website is linked in the comments below. But a quick recap what we have. We have Wisconsin money line minus 125. Over 159 and a half in Creighton and Iowa. We have Michigan State plus four and a half. So let's go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure you watch those other videos.